what's the, you know a lot of people talk about whether or not branding has value what's the cost of doing nothing with your brand what's the risk to you personally and, and to your company you know steve there there is a huge risk because whether you're managing or not someone's out there um controlling your brand whether it's offline or online because people are talking about you they're posting things about you and so if you choose to do nothing you know number one is the cost of having your brand damaged because of what other people are doing um, it can also go you know, to the corporate level where if you're not helping your employees manage their personal brands and something big happens, it can really affect the entire organization. Because unless you're a, a massive you know, Fortune 500 type company, um, if you're like most people that are in smaller organizations, the personal brands of the, the employees and the individuals are directly tied to the corporation. So it could have a, a lasting damaging effect on the organization or an individual by not managing your brand. You know, I, I think I would just want to even add to that. One of the, I think that that's absolutely true, but there's even something more powerful. There's, there's always a, a group of people when new technology or new ways of doing business come along. There's always kind of fundamentally neo-Luddites at some level. And one of the things I found really interesting with kind of the change, with the ability to research people online and learn about their interests and what they do and a lot about them, uh, there are a lot of executives, very smart executives who are powerful executives, kind of in the last iteration of great executives who haven't really made the transition because they were very, hey, I don't do social. I don't worry about all that online you know, BS. And I've watched uh, some really good people because of that kind of approach really become irrelevant and, and out of work. So I mean, I think there's, there's short-term and long-term damage that can happen. There is. And I think, you know, with the way people are not – so accepting of you know the big corporate brands anymore they're more interested in the the individuals that make up in an organization and so if they can connect with some of these you know great brands like the the richard bransons who have adopted social media and you know have gotten out there and managed their personal brand you can connect with these people and see that there are actual humans behind these big brands um, so it's great you know for client retention and you know for growth as well